well, against your morals now. I don't know. So yeah, I uh, I just moved here from Colorado. I love Madison. It's very exciting, but you know, Colorado's cool. They they just they just legalized marijuana, but fireworks uh, still illegal. We have to we have to go to Wyoming to get fireworks. So we're still working on stuff there. Uh, a friend of mine told me, you know. The whole country is going to be watching Colorado to see what they do with legalized marijuana. And I was like, oh no. Because <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're high on marijuana, it already feels like everyone's watching you. <laughs> Somebody told me that, and I was like, dude, is Nebraska looking at us right now? <laughs> Nebraska! Did he look? <laughs> No, but I feel, I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of character in daily life, and I guess what I mean by that is I'm a pretty good judge of what character you would be on Friends. <laughs> like, this guy, Ross. Uh, Monica, right there. I don't know. This guy, total Phoebe. I don't know, it just, it comes to me, it's a gift, I don't know. It's a blessing and a curse. Uh, so a lot of my, I'm at, I'm at a weird age where I'm like in the postgraduate age and I've got two halves of friends, what, what they're all doing. Like one half is like, let's not have real jobs and go to music festivals and do LSD all the time. And then the other half is like, let's get real jobs and get credit cards and get married. And I'm like, whoa, were you guys saying about acid over here? <laughs> I, was just, I was on the other side of things and it's kind of, I hate it. <laughs> Uh, here's a, here's just a corny one for you guys. I like my women like I like my country music. Okay? 30 years old and really sad. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a weird thing to applaud, but that's awesome that you did. That's awesome that you did. I was on the bus recently and I saw a mime on there. And uh, so, oof, I know, bear with me here. That's hard to deal with. Uh, he was talking to his friend, and he goes, This city has about as much culture as a spoonful of yogurt. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, fuck you. Like, first of all, you're mine. You shouldn't even be talking. <laughs> Like, I, I get that we're on the bus and stuff, but like, commit to the bit, you know? Like, you still have your makeup on, like, we can all hear you. It's not, we're not believing that you're a mime. Second, third, second of all, third, we'll get to third. Second, a mime judging culture, that's backwards. That's like the bottom part of the barrel judging the top. That's like Ronald McDonald going to a five-star restaurant and being like, I don't know, the service was a little slow. <laughs> I had our seat was right by the bathroom, that was annoying. Third of all, yogurt is literally 99% culture. Like, that's what it is. That's all it is. It's like 99% culture and then 1% like key lime pie or strawberry or whatever you want to put it. My name is Anthony Syracuse, guys. You guys have been